Hi, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Mary. And in this video, I'll be showing you how I make um, the s'mores. So this is what they look like. So, yeah, I'm going to show you how I make them. This is how I do it. So let's get started. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some brown clay. You're going to need brown clay. You're going to need, this is beige clay. You're going to, so you're going to need brown beige. You're going to need white. And you're also, if you have chalk pastels, you can use chalk pastels. I don't have any at the moment, so I'm using makeup. And so this is what it looks like. And you're going to need the brown, which is here, and the light brown, which is obviously all gone. But um, I got a little shaded here in this area. And um, you're going to need a dotting tool. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to, um, you're going to take your, um, <clears throat> you're going to take your beige clay and you're going to condition it. You're going to roll it out. I got a pasta machine back here that I'm just going to use to flatten it. So you're going to flatten it. It's going to look like this. And you're going to take your knife and you're basically going to um, cut out a square. Which is going to look like this. And then you're going to take your blade and you're going to put a, don't go, now don't push all the way through. You're just going to go and put a little indent in it. Which is going to look like this. It's very thin, but it's right there. You're going to go in with your toothpick. And you're just going to see if I can. And you're just going to scrape this along just to make the the indent. I'll give it some a little more depth like that. Once you do that, you're going to take your brush in your makeup or your chalk pastels whichever one you have and you're just gonna dip it in like this and you're gonna shade so just gonna shade it not sure how well you can see that on camera but you're gonna shade it like this So you're going to end up with something like this. The lighting in here is not the best, but I have to work with what I got. So you're going to shade it. And after you do that, it's going to look like this. It's just a little better. And then you're going to go in and you're going to put your holes in like this. So you're just going to make your holes they look just like they would be on a graham cracker. And they're going to end up looking like this. Okay. So once you do that, I'm going to go ahead and um, finish shading this. So I'm just going to go ahead and shade it. This is going to be the bottom of my graham cracker. So basically what I'm doing now, and I'm just shading it. I'm going to go around with my, and just shade it in like this. It's going to look like that. And then I got some mixtures that I mixed in. This is brown. And we're just going to go ahead and go over it. Like 
like this. Then we're just going to go ahead and blow the wipe the excess away like this. And then you're going to take your needle tool or anything with a pony a pony end like this. And if you're a kid and you're making this video, get adult supervision. And what you're going to do next is you're going to take the guiding tool and you're going to go around the edges and you're just going to rough the edges up so let's pull it back so y'all can see so we're just going to go in and just going to um just uh take your guiding tool and just put um just give what you're doing is just giving this graham cracker a little detail and you're just going to put in the crumbs or <laughs> i don't know what they're called but it's going to look like this Just going to keep doing that all the way around. Just like this. Then go do it again on the other end. And it doesn't matter if the color comes off because we're just going to go right over it again. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the other side. Just like this. Then we're going to just clean up our works area. And this is what you should have on the sides. And then we're going to take our brow. And we're just going to go in and clean up those edges. You know, and if you're wondering, the brand of clay I'm using is Bake Shop Clay. Um, I get it at Walmart for $0.97 cent in the uh, crafting department. So this is what you're going to end up with. Next, I'm just going to set this one out of the way. You're going to take your brown clay and you're going to roll it out so it's going to look like this. I've already done it. And you're going to take your graham cracker. And you want to just kind of get a little bit of a feel of what size you want. So you're going to take this and we're just going to trim it up a little bit. So basically we're just going to cut off some of this like this. Just like this. So then you want to try to hold it up to it like this and it's going to look fine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to take my fingers and I'm just going to smush it and pull it out just like that. Just to make the chocolate look like it's, it's melted or the clay look like it's melted, which is basically your chocolate. So, yeah. Okay, so should end up with something like this. And we're just going to take that. Put this right on top just like this so there you have that and that and now we're going to take some white clay and I've already got some here and this is going to be the marshmallow so we're just going to roll it out and as you can see my hands got brown makeup on it which is fine because as you can see it's giving the marshmallow a little tint to it to make it look like it's roasted so we're going to put that on there that needs to be a little bit bigger so we're going to go in again and then we're going to smush it down like this and we're going to pull out so smush and pull out to make it look like it's smushed down on there and it's been melting and we're just going to put that right on top just like this so this is what you should have bring that back and you're going to take go in again with your brown and we're just going to give this marshmallow a little shade 
just like that to make it look like it's toasted. And after you do that, you're going to take your ground cracker and you're going to push this on push this down a little bit. And we're going to put this right on top just like this. And you should have something like this. And if you want it a little more flatter, just go ahead and push it down a little more. And if you mess it up on the top, just go again, go in again with your bra your makeup or your chalk pastels and just kind of give it a, a little brush just like this and then I'm gonna use paint I get this at Walmart 50 cent and this is chocolate bar and what we're gonna do I'm gonna get my little board here because I don't have anything else close so I'm just going to use this and I'm just going to use a little of this chocolate sauce or this paint and that's y'all see the color and what I'm going to do is take my toothpick and I'm just going to go dip this in here and I'm just going to go in very lightly on the edges and give it to make it look like it's melted and then I'm going to put a little bit on the marshmallow and this is what it's gonna look like so and that's how I do my s'mores and that's it for this video and if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and if there's anything else that you want to see me make Please leave it in the comments below and I'll get to it. And y'all have a nice day. Bye.